kids, big kids, big kids, little kids, comic books and toys for all the girls and boys. Hey, what's going on everybody? Adam and McKenna and Kayla here. Hi. Hi. Back to do another drawing with you. Happy November. Today we are going to do our first November drawing and we are going to draw a... Thanksgiving turkey. turkey. <laughs> Thanksgiving turkey. That was a request from Kayla and so uh, let's get into it. If you have your... You can draw with markers, pens, crayons, pencils, whatever you choose. The important thing is to have fun. Alright, so we are going to start with the beak. And the beak is, we're going to start with first like a curved smile shape. Like that. And I'm going to probably start like right over here. Is this loud enough? Yeah. And then we're going to loop it up and around and down. Like that. Yeah, and then connect it like a circle. And then we're going to do another line underneath the bottom of the beak that just curves up like that. And then you could draw a little oval for a nostril. And then I'm going to add another little line right there. Because we're going to see part of the other side of his face. Or maybe it could be a shadow. And then we're going to draw a curved line that comes down. And then loops up. Not too thick, but not too thin either. There you go. And then we're, it's going to curve, it's going to overlap, and then go like that. Alright, now we're going to draw two eyes. So to do this, we're going to draw one bigger one on this side. <laughs> And then on the other side, it's going to be just a little bit smaller oval shape like that. Okay. And then inside of that, we're going to draw the pupils. We're going to give them some... Can you color them in? Eyebrows. Sure, if you have enough space to color them in. Oh, I see what you did, Kayla. You did it a little different. That's fine. Okay. I'm going to draw... Yeah, he, he did like just big black eyes, which is fine. Oh, with the kind of like a light. Right. I'm going to draw this little detail underneath his eye like that. And then one on this side. Now I'm going to draw the rest of his head. And watch what I do here. I'm going to bring it up and curve it. And I'm going to draw some feathers on the top of his head. And then it's going to curve down. And it kind of looks creepy. And around like that. Black. You don't have to do too many. And then you want to curve it and then bring it down like he's got a long neck. And then um, at the bottom of his neck, we're going to draw some feather shapes or some U curvy shapes like that. Like, kind of like feathers? Yeah. And then we're going to draw Please his body. This part. Then we're going to draw his body. And it's going to start basically like where the neck, the two sides of the neck end. And it's going to be like a big um, circular shape. Oh, you just bumped me. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, dang, that's a bad thing. Okay. Not like all the way. There you go. And then we're going to draw his wings. That come out. But we're just going to draw part of the wings right now. We're not going to go do the whole thing. Okay. Mine has big wings. Yeah. So the first feather is going to loop up just a little bit like that on both sides because then we're going to overlap some more feathers. So and we do one like that. And then another one. And they're going to start going up as they get closer to his body. <coughs> like that. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. 
candy gun. Down, 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 down. Oh, oh yours went in the other down. direction. That's fine too. Down. So then we're going to draw his legs. Now it looks like he's flying like this way. And the legs are basically two U shapes. Like big board. Yep. And then we're going to draw... Each leg is going to have two more little curved vertical lines that come down like that. I made the four. Your feathers. Turkeys don't have fur. Do, the, do these lines first though. Follow along. Okay. And then we're going to draw the feet. So we have, watch what I do. One, two, three, four. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. I made three feet. One, One two, three, okay. two, three. So I'm going to add a little bit of details on these bottom parts of the legs here. These little curved lines. Kind of like that. And then we're going to add some feathers on the legs, basically these overlapping U shapes. Like that. Looks good, looks good. I love it. So then right under here, under the neck, we're going to insinuate some more feathers. And wherever the, the angles go up, we're going to put a, a U-shaped underneath that. All right. And then we're going to do it at a curve so it looks like he's, you know, it's going to the contour of the form. And then when there's a space here, we'll do another set of feathers. Yeah, looks good. Good job. Just don't lean over too much, Kayla. We want to be able to see your awesome drawing here. And then I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm going to do bigger feathers, and I'm going to do it at a cur like a U-shaped curve. So watch what I do first. One, two, three. Okay, so it goes good. down, and then it starts to come back up like that. And then underneath, I'll do the same. So they're overlapping. And as they get closer to the bottom, you can get smaller. I made it bigger. <laughs> you made it bigger. That's fine too. The reason I make start to make them smaller is because they're starting to curve under his belly. Bunch. Yeah, you did. Those look great, though. Good job, McKenna. So let's let's let McKenna catch up. And one thing that you could do if you wanted to add some detail to your feathers, you could just do some little feathering like that. Is that why it's called feathering? <laughs> Well, it's called feathering because it goes from a thicker line to a thinner line. Kind of like a feather does. Add little dots here. And if you wanted, you can. I'm going to do some feathering along this curve shape just to give them some round. Like that. I'm going to do it on this side too. I'm always trying to go to the shape that um. So this is a rounded shape. So it starts here rounded, and then it goes around like that. Okay, now we'll just like that. 
And then we will add some more detail feathers to the wings. And basically the same thing except the U-shapes will come around like this. Okay, so they're a little bit at an angle. And mine get are actually getting bigger as they get towards the bottom because these feathers right here are much bigger. Let me see yours. That looks great. Good job. Okay, then you could add like a little detail along these wings, which is just basically like some curves. Just add a little different color. Uh, so when we color them, like this, this part could be like a white stripe almost on the feathers and the rest of it could be brown. And then I'm going to do a little bit of feather in here where these overlap. Just to give it some shadow because the feathers are overlapping each other. My hair is going down. <laughs> Looks very stylish. Okay, so these feathers are gonna go around in a circular uh, shape and they start out a little thicker at the top and then they narrow when they get towards the turkey. I'm going to do the other side. Okay, mine doesn't even have a lot. That's okay. The thing I can do, I can overlap them. You can overlap them. That's a great idea. Okay. Nice. Mine oh, looks like it's hair. <laughs> and then what you could do is um, the turkeys have multicolored feathers. It looks like so I'm going to add these curved shapes here, like the tips. Like candy. Kind of like candy. So the tips will be kind of white, and then they could be um, the feathers can have some orange in them. Or yellow. And some different browns. And then I'm going to do another row of that in the center. You can see that I'm going in a circular motion around the turkey. Kind of like that. And then because this these back tail feathers are behind our turkey, I'm going to do a little bit of shading where I do some feathering that comes out from behind I'm the turkey. Shading, shading like in the face. Sure. Want to do any backgrounds? If you want to add a background, you can. I may just draw some green grass and some sky in the back of mine. If you want, you could do. Kind of like that. So I'm just doing some more feathering here just to give my turkey a little bit of form. Some more lines, yeah, so I, I had the lines go further down and then I added another row of of, um, of these curve shapes because I'm going to do it like a multicolored tail. So you could definitely add some more to yours. Lost shadow. Oh, you drew some shadow underneath. Good idea. So being fat. Poor turkey. What? Well, everybody likes to eat turkey, right? I guess. I'm not really a big fan of eating turkey, though, personally. These look awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna draw some ground here and here. 
And then I'm going to draw a sun. Maybe some mountains in the back. I did. Yeah. Some hills. All right. Here, let's move your uh, your drawing over so everybody could see our turkeys. I think they came out great. And um, who's ready to start coloring? <laughs> You're gonna add some more stuff to the background. Yeah. Okay. No. Oh, some more feathers. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna sign mine. Uh, right. <laughs> nice! And I like how you drew the musical notes. That's great. Very cool. Alright, so what colors do we need for our turkey? We definitely need red. Oh, um, and because yellow. he's got he's got the under his neck is red. More red. That's like his lip. I forget what they call that now. Then we have lots of browns. Um, put some browns here. You've got some browns orange. in here. You've got some oranges there. And um, some yellows. Got some more oranges. Some yellows. Uh -huh. All right. Now it's time to color. I like your son. Yeah. Very cool. I like yours, Dad. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'm going to add some more colors. So, we're all still coloring here, but I wanted to show you I mixed a lot of oranges and browns together. We mixed a little bit of blue around the eyes. Some yellows in with the, with the browns and the oranges as well. Um, we like to get messy and really blend our colors and um, add a background with the green and blue and yellow for the sky. Actually, I'm going to add a little bit more yellow in the sky here for the sun. We could even mix in a little bit of reds for some fall colors with the greens. Okay. What other color should I mix in with my turkey here? Oh, I'm gonna add a little bit of orange to his beak. These colors don't mix so well. Yeah. Right. Uh, the different crayons. Uh, these Crayola Twistables don't really blend with the regular Crayola crayons all that well. It's like they're a different type of wax or something. Now add a little bit of red into my turkey. You never have that problem. No? That didn't look at my name. Ah, oh, you put it at the top. Nice. It's always good to sign your work. It's good to date it as well if you want to remember how old you were and when you drew it. Today is November 1st, so it's 11 1. You're five years old, is that why you put the five there? 11? 11 1. Should do it on the back though. Now you just did it. 
<laughs> on the top of your drawing. That's okay though. He always does that for some reason. I know. It's okay. I still love seeing him draw. It's a lot of fun. Add a little bit more brown into these feathers here. I have another green. Sure, what kind of green do you want? This one or a darker green? Maybe this one. This is more of like a bright green. No. Are you running out of green on that one? No. Oh, okay. Mm, I'm cozy here. So we just got through Halloween and now we are Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving season and then all the different holidays like Christmas and Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and so many holidays let us know what you like to celebrate what do you like to do for Thanksgiving do you I this a blue way of mixing yeah it's nice do you have a traditional Thanksgiving or do you eat something different are you, do you have a good vegetarian recipe you'd like to share with us? Because I'm not really a huge fan of turkey myself. Um, do you have any favorite fruits or favorite vegetables? We like to just get together with family and enjoy some, some good times and some good food. And Let's see. Add a little bit more blue to this. I'm done. You're done? Yeah. Looks awesome. Thanks. I love it. What are you adding, Kayla? As you can see, we didn't get to arrange our setup any differently this week. We're still kind of messy over here. Hopefully we'll get to it soon. But we really appreciate you guys drawing with us. Everyone that um, tags us and posts up their pictures. We love seeing yours. So um, please continue to subscribe, like our videos, keep drawing with us, and uh, we'll see you soon. Have a nice day. Bye. Peace, love, and art.